In this video for Premiere Plasma, we will be going over how to put font and text into your DXF and other files. We are going to be doing a font that will come out and also font that will stay fixed but will have the perimeter cut out. We are going to be demonstrating this on a fire pit side that we have created. So basically first, what we're going to want to do is see how big this is actually, just to make sure it is the same scale as it should be. So we're going to click on our single line tool, click once, and we're going to drag and drop it. So it's 24 inches long, and it is 15 inches tall. So now, that's the size we need, so we're going to delete it on our selection tool, we're going to click on our bottom right, click and drag up to the top left, then hit backspace when everything's highlighted. Now we're going to go over here and select our text tool. So we're going to click once and put our text. We're going to name this Premiere. And then underneath it will say Fire Pits. So now that we have our Premiere done, we're going to go up here to the selection tool double click and our inspector will come up we're going to set this at size 288 we're going to change the font to Arial Black and style to bold now you can use any font and style you like then we're going to take and move this to center it up now we're going to select our text tool again and we're going to put fire pit. Now we want to select our selection tool. It's already highlighted, so we're just going to go back over here, change it to RL black. Size, we're going to set this at size 144. Now that we have it the size we'd like, we're going to go ahead and exit this. I'm going to take and center this up. Now what we're going to want to do is go from the bottom right, click the left on the mouse, then we're going to drag up to top left, let go, and we're going to highlight both. Then we're going to go to edit, change object type, and we're going to set curves. What this is going to do is instead of this being block letters, it is going to just only show the outline. So now we're going to hit OK and now our outline is showing. Next we want to click off on the side to unhighlight everything. Then we want to re-highlight everything. And then we're going to go up to Edit, Group, and Ungroup everything. What this will do is it's going to break all the letters apart into just their own lines. The reason why we're going to do that is because we're going to have to attach two lines here to keep the center of the pin from falling on when it gets cut out. So we're going to start doing that up here. We're going to get our single line selection tool. Click, drag and drop, click, drop. We're going to do it to the R also. Click and drop. And this R. this R and this P. So now what we're going to want to do is come over here, get our selection tool, click on this line, hit backspace to delete it, click on this line and hit backspace to delete it. Now if this is too small when it's cutting out and your letters are too small, the kerf width may burn this out and your center will still fall out, but if your letters are big enough, it will not. So now we're going to want to select our single line. Gonna click, drop, click on this endpoint, drop it at this endpoint. Now if you were to click here and you went past it, or even if you just had it like this, 
the table is still going to cut but it's going to stop and then cut again over here so you just want to make sure you always go end point to end point so end point to end point end point to end point and I'm going to go ahead and do the rest of these so we're going to click on this line backspace to delete it click on this line backspace to delete it get our single line tool end point to end point end point to end point Delete, delete, endpoint to endpoint. Now after you've gone through and made sure all your letter centers are going to stay in and not fall out, you're going to want to click on the bottom right, drag up again to highlight it. Then you want to go to edit, group, and group all the letters together. So now when you click once, it'll highlight them all. Next you can go through and highlight everything again and go edit, group, and group that all together now you can export this through sheet cam and have it ready to cut now we're gonna do letters that will stay in and not fall out so I'm just gonna go ahead and restart this real quick I'm gonna go edit group ungroup it so I can delete the center out and I've already have it saved so I'm gonna do premiere again Get our selection tool, double click. Size again at 288. Ariel black. Do our selection text tool again. Do fire. We're going to do a selection tool. Double click. Size 144. Ariel black center it up and now we're going to want to go from the bottom right up to the top left to highlight it edit change object type curves we're going to OK then we're going to want to go through and highlight it again go edit group ungroup Now this is where it's a little tricky. So let's say we want the F's to stick out the bottoms. So I'm going to do selection tool, exit this, delete the bottom of everything. Then we're going to do our single line tool just draw a little line, draw a little line, draw a little line. Oop, I missed that endpoint there. We're going to delete that. Endpoint, draw a little line, endpoint, little line. So now when this gets cut out, the P will stay in, the E will stay in, all this will stay in and the center will fall out. So it will be defined very good. So let's go through and do these real quick. Single line.
there you go now you have font that will stay in and the centers will fall out after we've done this we're going to want to go through and group everything together again and then it's ready to be sent out to sheet cam to be post processed thank you for watching